kiyaa oo sarrako nin jira ay mana cinka mana mana ti oolle bulle sadi oolle afro oolle deen baqa suna man jiru ka ka oo sani ti bisin tu nin jira daiman kani ba ina dibi sadi na gudda tanka tor baqa raab bi deen. Deaths like these can be prevented. A BBC Media Action, we help women like Medina to have safer pregnancies and healthier babies. We do this by inspiring pregnant women and those who influence them, like their husbands and mothers-in-law, to believe they can and should do things differently. This film shows how we did this in Bangladesh and Ethiopia and the impact we had. At the beginning of the project, the finding showed delivering at health facility was not a norm. Feeding your baby cholesterol, the first yellow milk, people think that like it will harm the baby, it will make the baby sick. Most husbands were not supportive of their wife's pregnancy. They see it as a woman's thing. If you think about Bangladesh, most of the people want home delivery because it's their traditional practice. The mother-in-law, they are not very supportive regarding in sick care. Here, a girl has little freedom. We are focused on the influencers. Without them, we'll not go anywhere. We, we can't have an impact. We can't have change. To bring about change, we made sure that husbands and mothers-in-law wanted to listen to our radio programs in Ethiopia and watch our TV programs in Bangladesh. We gave them accurate knowledge, engaged them emotionally and showed them different ways of doing things. We motivated them by showing people like themselves providing better advice and support. The way we design the drama, it's like, well, for family core members, like mother-in-law and husbands, and our expectation was, you know, people will learn, you know, how to treat women, uh, you know, how to treat a pregnant woman, you know, how to treat the newborn. One of the things that we've tried to do with those influencer characters is to tell their story through the drama. And you'll often see, for example, a mother-in-law who starts off as resistant and traditional and not allowing her daughter-in-law to undertake good practice. You'll see her shift as the drama moves on so that she's learning and growing and improving her own knowledge as the story develops. In Ethiopia, Radio is the best way to reach a rural population. We created this husband corners targeting them and we have produced some public service announcements that's targeting mother-in-laws. Many episodes of our program, we put the two, the role models and the bad experience of different mothers. We let the listeners to compare and contrast the benefits of going for health facility or staying behind at home. So what difference did these drama and factual programs actually make? Were the influencers inspired to be part of the change? 21 million people listened to our radio health programs in Ethiopia in 2016. We have seen that a lot of discussions are happening in the household because of our programming and husbands are also changing these norms and they become more supportive of their wives than they used to be. Akasuma soji ala le ko amagar tan kanat ojacha yero kan le oji mana le ojacha olgar garre tuma akasit olja jabesa turechu sababa kopi sani rab bronze arga le ojacha chuda tajaji la barbaj sundani ko danifi akuma adat tu drane tu yu. In Ethiopia, our research data also showed that husbands who listened to our programs were three times more likely to know what preparations to make to ensure a safe birth compared to husbands who didn't listen. They were more likely to say that people in their community arrange transport to take a woman to the health facility to give birth, and they were almost twice as likely to believe that people would approve if they fed their newborn baby only breast milk rather than traditional but harmful food like butter. 32 million people watched our TV health programs in Bangladesh. আসলে নাটকটা দেখে যে যে বাচ্চা হয় গর্ভবতী মহিলাদের দেখায় যে এই সব বিষয় নিয়ে ভালো লাগছে বেশি যে শ্বশুর শাশুড়ি কিভাবে তাদের বউদের যত্ন নেবে আর ডেটা অলসো শোড ইন বাংলাদেশ 
Husbands and mothers-in-law who watched our programs were twice as likely to believe that men should support their wives to go to antenatal checkups compared to those who didn't watch. Husbands were three times more likely to provide accurate advice, like the need for antenatal checkups, and that a woman should go as soon as she is pregnant. Mothers-in-law were twice as likely to know how to clean and prepare a room in which a woman will give birth and to know that the birth should be assisted by a qualified health worker. It's clear, when those who can influence women gain accurate knowledge, shift their perceptions of what is typical in their community, feel they can do things differently and provide better advice and support, then healthier practices and behaviours become the new normal.